what's going on guys it's your boy ntg back at again with another video in today's video guys i'm gonna be breaking down this live trade that i took with my vip members on gold this was a nice buy for gold we had a a falling wedge pattern so i'm gonna go ahead and break that down so I'll show you guys like how to draw the false breakout every year and just in case you guys kind of like missing those small details on making these trades i'm gonna go ahead and break down the markets for you guys and then after that of course i'm gonna switch over to the live the live feed and we're gonna go over the live trade video and i'm just break it down step by step as the market's moving and give you guys some you know small little key gems that you guys can add to your trading plan you guys already know so make sure you guys hit that like button for your boy ntg if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe for more content like this i'm gonna be posting my analysis uh well today i'm posting my analysis and i'll also be posting the us study live trade as well vip members and i'm going to be posting some trading psychology so you guys want to stay tuned for that all right guys so you guys already know how we like to do it we're going to roll the intro and get straight into the video let's get it all right guys so here we are on gold now we didn't have too much on the higher time frames, right? When I was looking at gold, you know, we're still sideways with gold. Small, small uptrend on the smaller time frames, but overall, you know, I was bullish. Okay. So we had we were coming up at this resistance right at the top here at the 1831. Well, from the 1830 from the 1834, right? And if we go ahead and go over to our lower time frames a four hour and a one hour we can see that we had that small small little uptrend here right and of course you guys know with falling patterns you want an uptrend okay because you guys know we have our uptrend right so we're making our higher highs and our high lows continuing up and then of course we come to a stage where we see a small correction in the market where it creates a falling pattern, right? And then once it breaks the pattern, it continues to the upside, right? So that's what we we wanted to see out of the market when I was taking this live trade. Okay, so I drew out this trade on the hour, like, and you guys know the second thing you want to do, of course, is you want to draw out your false breakout areas. And I always told you guys that you guys can use the pivot point high lows to identify these if you struggle with that. All you got to do is just pull up the pivot points high low indicator and it's right there right you can draw out all your false breakout zones it doesn't really the time frame just make sure you're drawing out these false breakout areas because these are these are significant areas right this is what keeps us in the market this is what tells us to get out of the market so you definitely want to draw out these patterns it's very important to draw out these zones right so we pretty much got all our zones there on the hour so it's beautiful so now all we got to do right is wait for that breakout okay so going into the breakout you can use the 15 minute for the break i personally like to use the five minute i recommend the 15 minute because it's just a safer time frame with better confirmation but i you know i like to get like those sniper entries on that five minute so we're gonna go ahead and go to the five minute you know at the end of the day just do what you're comfortable with you can't wait for the break on the five the, hour, the one hour the four hour it's completely up to you okay so once we get that breakout right right there this is where I, I start to draw my extension i like to draw my extension from the low all the way to the high right and i'm taking my tp at the two right so i'm taking my tp right around this area at the 1825 okay and then of course if they, we have any opportunities to scale in or hold our trade you know for a higher tp we can go ahead and do that and i'll, I'll break that down a little bit more once we get into the live trade okay and here's the ex the settings for the extension so you guys have that okay so once we get that break all you do is place your trade okay now this is now this could be a very difficult part for you guys right placing that trade uh, some of you guys are struggling with placing the trade because at previous time when you place a trade the trade went against you right and you can't really figure out like what's going on like you feel like you're getting the breaks, you're getting the entries, but it's not working out for you. So just a few tips. Well, number one, 
I know the number one reason why, you know, your trade, some of your trades fell when you trade breakout trading is because one, you do not have your false breakout areas, right? So when you're watching the market, you don't have any of these zones out. So what you're really, what you're essentially what you're doing is just, you're just holding the trade. You're holding the trade until, well, we hit TP here, but you're just holding the trade, right? And you're not seeing like any of the confirmations to get out of the trade, right? You're not seeing any of the confirmations to get out the trade or the wait for retest or anything like that, right? So, but normally, when well, let me show you guys here real quick, right? These are the type of confirmations you wanna you wanna see to get out of the trade, right? Now we hit the retest, so I wasn't concerned. We hit the retest of the pattern, and it gave us confirmation to continue bullish, right? For us to get out the trade, we need to hit these zones, right? And we need to see the pattern here, the one, two, three engulfing. And this is what's gonna essentially tell us that okay, it's time to bounce out of the trade if we did not hit TP, right? But this was the first one that we got off of the zone. We were considering getting out of the trade, but I wanted to wait for the retest, okay? So when I see my false breakout areas like this, and we didn't really pass the zone yet, I like to wait for the retest of the pattern. And as you guys can see, we bounced right off of the pattern. So, and of course, if gold continued, right? If it started to close below the pattern, then of course you want to get out of that trade immediately, right? You don't want to hold that trade, but we have a nice rejection. And then we had bullish continuation, right? So we're like, okay, so we can continue to hold this trade. And now what we need to wait for is these other zones, right? And these zones keep you aware of your turning points. They keep you aware of, okay, when should I get out the market? When should I continue, right? And you guys will see how gold is just breaking past these levels, all these levels. And these will get, this will give you the confidence, right? To stay in your trades, all right? So. That would be the number one thing, false breakout areas and being active on the charts. And I know that might be difficult for some of you guys because a lot of you guys are trading while you're at work or you're busy, you take care of family, and you can't really be sitting on the charts on the five minute all day or the 15 minute all day. So I understand, but just make sure you're aware of that, okay? And make sure you guys are lowering your risk because some of that too, you guys are getting in too heavy and that drawdown, that small drawdown is on it all it takes to take you out the trade and kill your account. So make sure you guys are aware of that as well. All right. It's a very simple setup, very simple to execute, but mentally you guys are still struggling with that. All right. So let's go ahead and go over to the live market so that we can, we can digest it a little bit more. Okay guys. So here we are on gold, right? So let's go ahead and, and I'm just zooming through. I'm doing like other analysis and stuff for for the members and stuff. So, okay. So you guys see here, right? So we enter our trade. Okay. TP at the 1825. And we're just waiting, right? We had the retest. And then now we're just waiting at the false breakout zones. Of course, you guys know, I like to combine with my five to one minute strategy. And so I'm using both charts side by side as we're letting this trade play out. Now there's nothing really we need to do here. We just need to wait for gold to make its move, right? And we're not getting scared of any of the drawdown or, you know, any of the pullbacks or anything like that. If there's news, we know that we'll be okay, right? Because we already know how to trade news. We already know how to be prepared for that. And this is me just telling them, like, you know, like, you know, we have our stop loss here, but this will be a great opportunity for us right here at the 1815, right? To get out that trade if necessary, okay? So... Let's go ahead and continue as gold is pushing up. So now we were just ranging, right? In real time, this took about an hour, right? We we're, were waiting. It took about an hour from like 7 to almost 9 o'clock. I mean to 8 o'clock, right? So we're just ranging here. The stream ends at 10. Normally, we've been like ending the stream right at 10, right when it hits the TP. So it's been working out perfect, right? But this is real time. This takes like an hour or so, two hours. So I know the videos are like 15 minutes and you guys like have to, you know, this expectation that these trades are shorter than they really are, but they're not like we, we sit here on the stream for, for a while to let these trades play out. But you guys, you got to remain focused on the mental game, right? To be able to hold these trades and see how gold reacts to these levels. Okay. So in a moment, gold is going to start pushing up, right? So we're just holding our trade nicely, right? I'm seeing that engulfing there. Now the zone looks pretty strong because it's it's showing a lot of resistance and then boom, 
we had that nice pop and that that's a signal for ntg right to be like okay i have confidence in this trade right to hold and then go started pushing up a lot and you guys see how it's like reacting to the to the false breakout areas these are levels that gold wants to get to and then of course once it gets to those levels it's going to make a decision like okay do i want to keep pushing up or do i want to reverse from this area and this is why we have to uh stay co close attention to these areas because this is going to be like our our 20 our turning points to be able to say okay close profits or you know close a loss right or close that break even so that we can avoid a loss so gold was looking very nice it's looking very bullish I knew gold had potential to really to really give us that 100 200 pit move that day now of course I wanted to close my profits because I just didn't want to hold for that long but if I did hold it, you know, you guys know that day gold pushed up to the 1830s. So gold was just going crazy that day. All right. But we did get some profits from that. And so it's all good. All right. So now. All right. So let's go ahead and fast forward for the video. All right. So, yeah. So now I'm splitting my screen. So this is the moment where I'm like, OK, now I want to see if there's like scaling opportunities. I want to see if we can scale in on a one minute. Let's see how precise I can get out of the trade. I love using the one minute time frame to to like make my my split decisions on getting out of a trade or staying in a trade because it gives me that, you know, that speed that I want. You know, I don't have to hold for the whole 15 minutes because that's valuable time, right? 15 minutes is a lot of time. So definitely want to um want to stay on those charts. All right. So let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Go to just breaking levels, as you guys can see. We're not getting any signs. That's what I love. We're not getting any signs on the one minute to get out of the trade or on a five minute. Five minute, it looks even better, right? It's like, okay, I'm I'm gonna go to the to the moon. So that's good for me. I just want to hold my trade. Everybody's holding their trade. Everyone's good. They're in profit. One minute looks beautiful, right? And at this point, right, I don't have I don't have any real false breakout areas here. So you could you could close, you could trail at this point, right? You can go to break even. This is a good time to where like you, now you're in a good position to where you can move stop loss or you can trail stop loss and maintain good profit. Right. And we got close to our TP area. Right. You know, gold is teasing us. I don't know what's been up with the markets for this month, but with the VIP man, we've been doing live trades. It has been teasing us at our TP like it'll be it'll be like a pip away and then they'll start retracing. You know, sometimes people panic at that moment. They're like, oh, no, like I'm going to lose my profits. But just just relax. OK, the market is going to hit your TP. Right. So don't even worry about it. All that good stuff. I'm pulling out my extension because I was actually testing my VIP members. Um, So for this trade, I placed the trade, but I wanted them to guide me through the trade. Right. I wanted to make sure that they understood how to actually trade these setups, you know, because it's not all about, OK, just sit there and watch anti G live, trade live. Like, no, I'll, I'll do that. But I'm going to test you too at certain points because I want to make sure that when you guys get out of the program, you guys can trade on your own. So I'm testing them right now and they're telling me what to do. Right. Shout out to Sai. He's telling me to pull out the fizz. You know, I'm, I'm playing with him a little bit. I'm like, how do you, how do you use this? Like, you know, I'm not NTG, you know, just having a little fun with them on the live. So, but yeah, so we're just doing that. We're waiting for this trade. Right. And actually, some of the members started to close, which I don't understand why they didn't get any signal to close the trade. You guys, you got to remember trading psychology. Hold your trade. You guys got to hold your trades. That's very important because when you don't hold your trades, right, you get to, you miss out on all that beautiful profit. And then you start to sit there and you're like, man. Like, I wish I, I held my trade just, you know, five seconds, you know longer 10 seconds longer and i know you guys been in that moment where like if you just held your trade for like just a minute or you just put your phone down for like 10 seconds and you held your trade you would have been maximizing your profit so don't don't get yourself in those situations right because that can be devastating to your your long-term right your long-term profit and your long-term win rate all right so we're about to hit tp in a second you know gold giving us some trouble and there boom we hit tp we were drawing out some false patterns on here just to look out for and everything like that. So this was right at uh, nine o'clock that we hit TP. So we're looking good. We did miss a other couple setups, but that's all good. 
you know, the most important thing is that we are, you know, continuing to continuously make profit. We're four for four right now. So that's brilliant. We're going to see what this week holds for us as far as more live trades. And I think that's pretty much it for that. Yep. So I ended the recording from there. Yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm going to do another video for US 30 that we got that we got in for that live trade as well. I will post that after this gold after this gold live trade. So you guys can see that. Make sure you guys are taking notes on these live trades. You know, very a lot of information on these trades that you guys can take. And so you guys can see, you know, just those small details in the market that you guys don't normally see when you guys are trading. All right, guys. So I hope this video was informative for you guys. If you guys did like this video, make sure you guys give your boy NTG a thumbs up video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you guys have post notification on, man. So you guys, you, you know, you guys get notified when I go live or when I post a video and I will be going live this week. So make sure you guys stay on the tune for that. All right, guys. So it was your boy NTG and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video and I'm out. Peace.